Hey everybody, I'm here today with a quick math lesson on telling time. I'm going to be showing you the process for telling time with this analog clock using a few different examples. So basically the clock spins this way, the hands on the clock spin this way and it goes with the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Just going to move that to show you the 12. Now to tell time you're going to look at the small hand which is the hour hand and see where it is pointing okay so this is pointing at the 8 so the hour is 8 and then look at the minute hand which is the big hand and see where it is pointing it is pointing at the 12 and when the minute hand is pointing at the 12 we call that o'clock so it is 8 o'clock just gonna spin this just like that now we're gonna do another example look at the small hand which is the hour hand and it is pointing to the 10. That means it is within the 10 hour. And the big hand is pointing to the 12, which means o'clock. It is 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. We always read it with the hour hand first, then the minute hand. Okay. Now we're going to spin it a little bit. And we're going to go over it, uh, go over a different example. Now we're going to start by looking at the hour hand. And we see that it is pointing between the 8 and the 9. It is sort of pointing right here. So when that happens, when it is not pointing right to a number, you are going to go to the next lowest number. Okay? So right now it's between the 8 and the 9 and the lower number between 8 and 9 is 8. So that means we are still in the 8. So the hour is 8. Now we're going to look at the minute hand. Okay? It is pointing down here at the 6. Now when the minute hand is pointing somewhere along the numbers, not 12 but any of the other numbers, you're going to skip count by 5's. 5, and each number is going to count as 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So the time is 8, because that is where the hour hand is. We go to the next lowest number, 8, 30, because we skip counted by 5's. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, let's do another quick example. Alright, so right now we're going to look at the hour hand. It is pointing between the 9 and the 10. It is sort of pointing right there. The next lowest number between the 9 and the 10 is 9. So between the 9 and the 10, the lower number is 9. So the hour is 9. Then we're going to look at the minute hand and skip count by 5s with the big numbers. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So when we look at the time here, the time is going to be 9, 40. We're just going to go through two more examples and then that will be it for this math lesson and video. So we're just going to go through two more examples. Alright, so now we are going to look at the hour hand and it is between the 8 and the 9. So the next lowest number is 8. So the hour is 8 and now we're going to look at the minute hand. You can see that it is between the 3 and the 4. It is not right on a big number. So we're going to skip count by 5s up until we get to right before the minute hand. So 5, 10, 15. And then each of these small notches, each of these small dots count as 1. So 5, 10, 15, and then we're going to count by 1s. 16, 17, 18, okay? So the minute is 18, and the hour is, just as we said before, 8. It is 8, 18. And we're just going to do one more example before we finish this video. All right, so take a look at the hour hand. It is pointing between the 9 and the 10. The lowest number between 9 and 10 is 9. Now we're going to look at the minute hand, and we're going to skip count by 5s up until the, the, the next lowest number, which is 6. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And then these all count as 1. So 31, 32, 33. So the time is 9, 33. And that's basically it. In this video, I have shown you the process for telling time on an analog clock. I have used many different examples and I have used step-by-step -step instruction to show you the process for telling time on an analog clock. And I hope that you have enjoyed this very quick and simple math lesson. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.